There is one man and one man alone who would save Black Ops 5 zombies. He's known by many names. I just can only think of his real name right now, but he's known by many names. But I do personally know him as the coolest developer to ever be born. And also his real name is kind of weird because, you know, he has a last name that sounds like a first name. And the first name sounds like a last name, which is kind of weird. But regardless, this man can save Black Ops 5 zombies. He may be the only one capable of doing so. And who this man is? None other than Lee Rock. Ahem. Now, of course, that was a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Not one single person can make or break a zombies game. That's just not how game development works. But regardless, I strongly believe in my heart of hearts that Lee Ross could add nothing but greatness or good things to Treyarch if he joined the zombies team at a lead position. He doesn't have to be the top place. He doesn't have to replace Jason Blundell or any of the other big guys. It just he needs to have like a big influence for different reasons that I'll get into in a little bit. But he just has to be a part of the development of this game. Now, of course, uh, there's a question that may rise one or two. The first one is for the people who may have skipped Infinite Warfare is who the heck is Lee Ross, which I'll answer in just a second. And the other one is that why would we want Lee Ross at Treyarch? So first question to answer is who this guy is. So who Lee Ross is, he was a top developer, not the head developer at Zombies, but he was a top developer for Zombies in Infinite Warfare. And of course, this leads us to our other question is why would we want him at Treyarch working on zombies if he made Infinite Warfare zombies? Isn't that trash? Well, first things first I gotta say is that first, that game's not trash. It's not great, I'm not saying it is, but it's not trash. It's a pretty fun, good game, and that's what I like about it. And regardless if you liked Infinite Warfare as a game or not, I think we could all still agree that in Infinite Warfare, there were some really, really, really good features. I mean, the rewards in that game were exactly what we want for rewards in Zombies. It's something that Treyarch has been lacking in for years now in rewards, especially for completing easter egg i mean just think about the three big things that infinite warfare zombies did i mean it had the super easter egg it had the director's cut the super easter egg boss fight too i mean those are some huge things and there's even some smaller things that i could talk about but just not really as important as the big three ones and those are just things that lee ross was a part of and this is a perfect segue into what i think lee ross could add to black ops 5 zombies and that is that maybe he was not you know the sole person who thought of all of the good ideas in IW Zombies and maybe he thought of some of the bad ideas in IW Zombies but regardless he was still a top position so he still knew about all the ideas that were going through meaning that he still has all those ideas in his head and will be able to bring them over to Treyarch Zombies and that's something that I think we all agree is that he's a talented developer he does some really really cool stuff he did some cool things in IW Zombies even in the situation it was in I mean it was still has some really really fun cool and rewarding features that he could bring to Treyarch Zombies that Treyarch Zombies just flat out never had or made even the attempt to have anything like it. Of course, him being a talented developer and the coolest developer of all time is great and all, but he also adds some things that not any other developer I know has been able to do, and that one is just the connection with the general community. And this is not going to be a knock on Jason Blundell, what I'm about to say. It's not. The things he does are really, really cool. I'm not trying to take it away, but it's just Jason Blundell can't do or doesn't do a lot of things that Lee Ross did. And the first one is his connection with the general zombies community. Because, of course, during Black Ops 3, Jason Blundell was like in every zombies YouTuber's videos ever. Like he was always getting an interview, which was great. But he only ever talked to the YouTubers. He never really talked to the general audience. Whereas Lee Ross, if you had Twitter, you could tweet at him and there was a really, really good chance he would respond to you unless you were being kind of toxic or something like that. But regardless, it's just that he was always there. He just talked to absolutely anybody. It didn't matter who you were. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you had. He was willing to talk to you as long as you were a Zombies fan. And that's something that Jason Blundell never did. And another thing Lee Ross kind of does really well compared to Jason Modell, again, not a knock against him, is that, I mean, when Black Ops 4 started going south, 
where did Jason Mundell go, guys? Like, there were no interviews. He just kind of, like, disappeared, dude. Like, he was just gone. And a lot of people thought he got fired. They made a whole rumor, which was not true in the end. But regardless, like, that's kind of what happened. But you know what? As negative as Black Ops 4 was received, I mean, you still have to look at what Infinite Warfare had to deal with. Lee Ross had to deal with the hate from Infinite Warfare, yet he didn't disappear. He was still there on Twitter almost every single day, willing to talk to absolutely any Zombies fan that was there. And that's just something that Jason Mundell never did. And that's exactly why we don't need to replace Jason Mundell, because they do different things great. Jason Mundell is good at talking to the YouTubers. He gets hyped. He knows how to talk to these YouTubers and spread hype through them. Whereas Lee Ross, he could speak directly to the Zombies community. He could talk directly directly to each and every person who's willing to talk to him. And also, he won't disappear. I mean, he just won't. He's not going to do what Jason Blundell did. He's going to be there no matter how negative people are receiving his game. I mean, if you don't believe that's the case, just look at Infinite Warfare. It's just crazy. And that's why a mixture of these two developers would just be absolutely great. But of course, there's one last thing I need to bring up when it comes to Lee Ross, and that is his, seemingly his mentality when it comes to making games. Because I think everyone can agree that the main focus of IW Zombies was not story, not how cool the characters were, it was the main focus was making a fun game. That was his main focus. And I think that a lot of people don't really see that with Treyarch. Now, I don't entirely agree with what I'm about to say here, but I know it's a sentiment that a lot of people feel towards Treyarch. But what that is, is that if a lot of people feel like Treyarch treats their game too serious, the storyline's too involved, the Easter eggs are too much, and all these things. And, you know, that's exactly the opposite of what Lee Ross did with IW Zombies. He made it fun. Like, the main goal of that game was to make it fun, whereas a lot of people don't feel like the main goal in Treyarch games is to make it fun it's instead they think it's to make a great story or make a great easter egg or a spectacle of an easter egg and stuff like that where again i don't agree with that statement but i understand like wh why people say that but you know who would help that Lee Ross would. He would completely eliminate that because his main focus always seemed to be just having fun. And that's just something, another thing he could bring to the development of Black Ops 5. Especially, especially because we're probably going to be going into a new story. We might get an entirely new story. We might get a reboot of Ether, or maybe we get a continuation of Chaos, which isn't the most popular story. But if the story isn't something that a lot of people latch onto right away, he's still going to be there trying to make the game fun. Because if the story isn't going to be the main draw like it has been for Treyarch Zombies for a while. I mean, something else has to be, and I think Lee Ross could help it where he just focus on making the game just fun. That is his main focus. Like, in IW Zombies, the storyline wasn't taken too serious. Easter eggs were taken serious, but they were taken serious in trying to make it fun for the most part. Of course, I'm not saying that for all Easter eggs. Some of them were not that way, but of course, it seemed like that was the main focus, not taking the game too serious. Just make it as fun as possible. Now, of course, you're probably sitting here thinking like, yeah, that sounds great, tell him, but uh, didn't you say he worked at Infinity Ward, not Treyarch? Well, for the people who don't know, about a year ago, Lee Ross uh, was no longer working at Infinity Ward, and he jumped over to Treyarch. And of course, this may bring another question. It's like, wait, if he was already there, then didn't this all happen with Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 4 wasn't that successful? Well, that's not true either because, well, I guess it's not entirely true, I should say, because yes, he was working at Treyarch during Black Ops 4, but he wasn't there during the development. And in fact, he wasn't even on the main zombies team during Black Ops 4 because during Black Ops 4, they had Lee Ross work on zombies all right, but it, it was blackout zombies, whatever that means. I feel like it's probably the Alcatraz map is what they had him working on. And, uh, you know, that's not the zombies mode. I, I, I they're, they're different. They're different. And I feel like it was a mistake by Treyarch to do that. But what I'm hoping the reason why they did not involve him in directly the zombies mode itself is because that he wasn't there during the development of the game. Like he wasn't there when Black Ops 4 was being built. So it's kind of hard to accept someone who wasn't really a major part of development and then give him a higher position in the studio than a lot of other people. And then also so it's just like it's going to be hard for him to just kind of understand everything that has been going on. So this is what I'm hoping again. This isn't what actually happened. 
but I am hoping that that's the reason why, that he just wasn't there during the development, so it's going to be too hard to, like, get him involved in it, and it was already, like, I think DLC three time by the time at least we knew he joined Treyarch, so, you know, it was kind of a weird time for him, so what I'm hoping Treyarch is doing is that they were just kind of, you know, grooming him to, like, you know, get used to the Treyarch studio and get used to what's going on here, because obviously it doesn't seem like they're going to have another blackout, and especially if they are, it's not going to have another spot for blackout out zombies so I imagine they're going to bring him over to the zombies mode itself and you know that should be a blast but worst case scenario and what might actually end up happening is they don't have Lee Ross working on uh working on zombies in Black Ops 5 which would suck I mean I don't know any other way to describe it except it would suck and that wouldn't be great but but um you know it still would be at least him working there and if he does work on this game I hope that if he doesn't work on zombies, at least put him on multiplayer, but then you already have Vonderhaar there, and Vonderhaar's already, yeah, I don't know, it's just, he's just such a perfect fit for zombies, because he's just what Treyarch zombies needs. When things are going south, he's going to be there. When the community wants to talk to the studio directly, Lee Ross is going to be there, and that's something that zombies has never had, even in Black Ops 3 with Jason Mundell. The general zombies community has never been able to talk to them directly, which is kind of something that Lee Ross is really good at. So, so I'm just here to say that Lee Ross could add nothing but goodness to Black Ops 5 Zombies and I hope Treyarch does not misuse his talents and they do integrate him into the Zombies mode itself unlike what they did with Black Ops 4 even though I understand it was already late they still should have found a way to put him there just because they knew his popularity with the Zombies community but regardless those are my thoughts on this situation. I'd love to hear what you guys think about Lee Ross and what sort of position do you think Treyarch should put him in in the zombies mode? Like, or you even think he should be involved in zombies? I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. You guys think he should kick Jason Blundell out of the way and, you know, become the head of zombies? Or do you think he should be a higher position but, you know, not taking anybody's major jobs? Or maybe he should start at the bottom and then you have to work his way up like everybody else? Or do you think he already proved himself so he should be at a higher position? I don't know. I just love to hear all your different thoughts and opinions down in the comments but that's about it for me if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and all that great stuff but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever it may be and laters guys